I'm Brittany Umar. Welcome to The Nooner, presented by The Village Poorhouse. I've got a couple of things to say real quick. You guys will probably have some questions after, but this should hit on everything. We'll change it up, okay? The Jets stink. Can I go now? No? So I guess the Mark Sanchez attempt at an abbreviated post-game presser was soft-tossed, incomplete, worse than his two-point conversion attempt. It was a bizarre but still hot post-game press conference after the Jets lost yesterday, with the Sanchez arriving to the press room with a notebook and proceeding to rattle off his impressions of the entire game. Sanchez reportedly hoped to catch the media off guard, but was unable to adjust at the podium and ended up having to burn another timeout. Gangrene's defense is also taking some hits for its performance against the Jaguars. But hey, they stopped Maurice Jones-Drew when it counted to seal a huge victory for this nerd's fantasy team. Not so bad. For those fantasy owners who did lose thanks to Jones-Drew denying himself a free touchdown to keep the clock running, he had this to say. Coach said to take a knee, so sorry to my fantasy owners, I apologize. I had myself today too, so it was a tough call. In a related note, Jets linebacker David Harris logged onto his laptop immediately after the game and couldn't release the Jets defense slash special teams fast enough. It must be weird having yourself on your fantasy team. It must really suck if you're Jamarcus Russell. Moving over to basketball, the Knicks played so poorly on Friday night that Mike D'Antoni referred to his team as, quote, zombies. Of course, that's not really fair to zombies, as the walking undead are at least driven and motivated in their quest for brains and human flesh. Meanwhile, Eddie Curry was seen lurching awkwardly through practice and was suspected of having the sickness himself, but it turns out that's just how Curry runs now. Curry has actually been so impressive in his first couple of practices that the team is reportedly considering inserting him into its rotation in place of Wilson Chandler. When reached for comment, Chandler said, mm, brains. In shocking basketball news, the Nets came really close to winning on Saturday night against the Heat. In less shocking basketball news, they didn't. Former Rangers forward Theo Fleury has a new book due out in stores tomorrow, and whoa Nelly. In it, he details the years he spent in New York doing cocaine and partying with freaks, transvestites, and strippers. Fleury called it, quote, a nightmare. Ironic, since Sean Avery recently called the exact same activities, quote, awesome. All right, I think we're done for this Monday. Oh, not yet? Okay. Okay, that should do it. Hey, so sorry to my fantasy owners. Coach told me to take a knee.